My dear friends, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, right now, one of my goals is to feature a different painting every month, and I want to upload a video like this uh, that highlights that painting where I also share what God taught me in the process of doing that painting and meditating on it. So as I prayed about where to start, uh, just immediately I felt that I needed to start with my feast painting series, my feast day series. And that's actually seven paintings, not one, but it's where, it's where God really started me on this journey of painting. It's, it's, they're the first ones that I worked on painting. So they're a little old. I would change some things at this point, but at the same time, sometimes you just need to leave the painting the way it was completed originally. So I just want to share a little of why this series is so important to me. Um, there's a scripture, there's a place in, in the scriptures where Jesus Yeshua says um, to the people he was with that they would have believed his words if they had believed Moses because Moses spoke of him. And that verse has always hit me deeply. And I have actually prayed very specifically, God, I want to know, I, I want to see where Moses spoke of Yeshua. Uh, will you show me? And so these paintings actually are, in a very big part, his answer to me. Um, yeah, every feast day, uh, which those who know me know I'm passionate about the feast days, studying them as well as, as celebrating them every year, and I've grown more and more passionate about them. And as I walked through them um, that one year, I think it was 2016, uh, he step by step, feast day by feast day, started showing me an image of where Yeshua was in that feast day. And I'm gonna read in a minute, I'm gonna read the journal entries that he gave me. Um, it's really about my own personal walk through these feast days and through our spiritual journey. Um, I'm gonna read those in a minute. Uh, but he just, he showed me where Yeshua had a hand in each. And I realized that walking through the feast days was like walking through the gospel. Um, so that is why I am passionate about them. And yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read the journal entry. So I just encourage you as I read these different passages, um, look at the painting, meditate on the painting, meditate on the words, um, I hope it impacts you. It was a huge impact on me. So it always begins at Passover. Um, it has to begin at Passover. So here's what he gave me. As I look at the light seeping from behind the door, I long to run through. Yet there is an element of fear in my being as well. This door is not lightly opened. It is a choice. It is a vow. It is submission dying to self and coming to view my own identity through his covering. It is accepting his sacrifice and his covering daily. Though my flesh wages war, wanting to cling to my identity and independence, how can I not say yes and run with joy through the door and into the kingdom he asks me to join, being washed by the blood pour poured out for me? Let us rejoice together as we enter in, I push the door open, step through, and take a deep breath of life. And as we leave Passover, we walk out into the Feast of Unleavened Bread. I feel joy and refreshment after walking through the door. I feel lighter and looking down to the right, I see the shackles that have fallen off. Oh, Abba, I remember how you have taken me out of my personal Egypt, where I was in slavery to my own gods of independence, control, and selfish desires. I confess these to you and trust your strong hand is removing them for me. The path ahead doesn't look easy, but you guide the way. May your truth, your word, keep me from the cliffs that lie to the right and the left. From Unleavened Bread, we come to the day of the Omer, um, the parting of the waters, the resurrection. Though you have been faithful, I, found, I find myself surrounded, walled in by fear and darkness. 
If I focus my eyes only on the bottom half of this painting, I feel overwhelmed. You tell me to look up. You, Yeshua, the author and perfecter of our faith, have gone before. You have conquered the law of sin and death. I look forward, fixing my eyes on you, the first fruit of many brothers. You have paved the way, dividing the walls of death before me. And then we enter the summer feast, Shavuot, Pentecost. Oh, what joy wells up in my soul. It is overwhelming. Lord, you have rescued me from the pit, removed my chains, and now, now the proposal. You wish to be my Elohim. You desire for your own you desire me for your own as a groom desires his bride. Write your words, your marriage contract on my heart, Lord. I will meditate on them when I sit at home, when I walk along the road, when I lie down and when I get up. I will teach them to my children and to the people you place in my life. I will brag about you as one would about their loving fiance. My heart can hardly take in this proposal and I long for the wedding day. I'm also reminded of my moments of betrayal to this pr proposal. Can you forgive me for the times I have snuck away for intimate moments with my old sins, control, covetousness, idolatry, etc.? Will you still be my bridegroom? As we enter the fall feast days, it begins with Yom Teruah, the day of noise. The return of the bridegroom is at hand. Now is the time. Now, hearing the sound of the shofar in my mind, my thoughts jump to excitement. How long have I been waiting for his coming? Now I will get to see the face of the one I love. But what will his face reveal to me? Will it be pure joy or will I see disappointment as he sees the ways I have forgotten him? Will his face show traces of hurt and pain from my neglect? Oh, the joy, fear, and trembling of this day. Lord, bring me through this. Give me strength to see myself clearly. I desire to see your face and be in your presence more than I desire to hide. And from Yom Teruah, 10 days later, we go into Yom HaKippurim, the day of the coverings, the day of atonement. That sadness I feared is in your eyes, but it comes out in love and sacrifice. On this day, I confess my sins to you. I see you, Yeshua, enter into the Holy of Holies as my representative, your blood, the offering for my sin. Your blood pours out and makes me whole. You cover me as a mother hen covers her chicks. I walked through the door at Passover, but now at the day of coverings, I first feel your physical arms embracing me, pulling me in. The blood coming from you washes over me like a warm bath. It, my sin and burden, is finished. And from Yom Kippur, we come to one of my favorite times every year and the spiritual place I long for and look forward to. Uh, the Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot. There is nothing left but joy. The road of life is hard, but here is where it ends. The burdens have been removed. The barriers are gone. On this day, I will sit at the wedding feast of the Lamb, my husband, my Lord. Come quickly, Lord. We wait for this day with eager anticipation. Thank you. I pray that blessed you. Um, it continues to bless me. Be blessed, my friends.